This is not a terrible opening hand. But we have to go first. Actually, we're going second. I'll always get a little confused here. But uh, Vesemir is not going to be terribly useful. Uh, let's kick Vesemir. And let's kick Crushing Trap for now. So the plan is simple. It must triumph. We try to just not do too much. Play three cards. And uh, see what's gonna happen round two. Do you guys have our favorite deck? Holy crap. I'll just play that. Let's go with the archer. He's not playing very strong cards either. I think we gotta give up. He technically has 21 points now, and I have 5. Yeah, having the Witchers here would be huge. And I can't mulligan anymore. Let's just go with Pafko. The goal here is to take it without using Ragnarok. But if he's just gonna keep tempering, uh, we won't have a choice. So at this point he played all the cards he has to play, or maybe should play this round. So we're just gonna play the Witchers right away. Giving us a 5 point lead. At this point he has to decide if he wants to risk losing a card. And he doesn't. Go wrong. Let's pass. Obviously we want double trap. And that should give us the win. You have more mulligans. Now problem here is... That I still want the crushing trap even if even if we don't get the double trap which is not too far away but this it's only gonna get worse now but this is pretty Heavily invested in the traps. Swords I smile yeah. at. Playing these traps score. in one card uh, definitely would be better. Really? Oh my god. So he has Artifact and Vetter Counter in his deck. And that's huge. He just removed my 12 point card very effectively. Only death here for Dwan. I'm not sure what kind of value the lock is gonna get. That could be it. This deck... Doesn't pack a lot of... Uh, ability units. That are vulnerable. 
I think we're just gonna lock that and also as a bonus move it on an appropriate row. Of your own medicine. Okay. What? Remove statuses? Holy crap! This guy's prepared for anything. He has artifact and weather removal and status removal. Actually, this is the interesting thing that's gonna come in the next expansion. That uh, the uh, units, many of the units are, well, at least two of the, two of the units that uh, they revealed uh, are gonna have status effects. Let's do that. That card will be broken in the expansion. It's giving it a shot right now. Oh, that's pretty good. So I gotta play a crushing trap next turn and the turn after that. No, no, no. Actually, I'm messing it up. Yeah, I'm right. Uh, next turn and turn after that. But we can play Yorvit here. But I think I still might want to play a Pitfall Trap here. Spotty! But let's just pretend. That it can be a uh, Mahakam Horror. I don't like the look of this. This could hurt. Okay. So I can start moving stuff in the back, like Nausicaa Sergeant. Or actually, we can move stuff in the front, if we think that's better. But I think we're just gonna move stuff in the back. One of these is gonna die. We know that for a fact. I strive above all to be just. Oh. I expected Leo. Well, no matter. <laughs> Would have, uh, I think we, yeah, I think we win against the Leo too. Oh, GG. I'm getting distracted, by the way. So, that's another extra reason just to try to end it. I mean, he seemed perfectly prepared, at least up to a certain point. Yeah, that's kind of the feeling of Neovgaard. You you just have a lot of counters, but how do you win? That's a big question. So, 
How do we win against this guy? I still need to figure that out. I think Ragnarok, every single time, proved to be a very questionable card last round. So I'm just gonna use it. Round one. We might even have to use it uh, round two if he pushes us. And we just intend to win with the traps. That's the plan. guys okay uh play the witchers now I right, pass I'm really glad that you guys don't hear what I'm hearing Inconsiderate neighbors. Like, what the fuck? Um. Sounds like he's banging the wall while he's singing. He's basically, he's alone, but he's banging the wall while he's singing and playing the guitar. I have to just uh, respect that commitment. But what the fuck? Let's just go to round three. I'm definitely not gonna be the guy. Now, well, now having Pafko, Pafko, Elven, Elven Swordmaster. I think if he had those, that would be a lot better. Have you guys ever banged the wall by playing the guitar and singing? Oh no! He's throwing away the bear cat. Doesn't believe in that. This could be a good way to get some value. Maybe I'm just gonna replay Crushing Traps. Clean up big groups of monsters. Open that Archer doesn't generate value. Man. Can't really risk getting a trap, but it's the chance is like one out of five. But yeah, I think we just gonna accept this. I'm giving Homecoming another shot now, inspired by the expansion. Care to give some advice on the brand Lippy matchup? Don't lose! <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have much uh, tips for you. That, that very much depends on... Oh, with this deck, you mean. Why I only thought... Uh, well, if you're just like asking generally, like that's kind of like a... How do you answer that? Uh, I only fought one steel. proper Brand Lippy so far, and I won against him. So, doesn't seem that bad. Just just execute your the generic strategy of uh, going for a long round free. In most cases, if you can guarantee a long round free, uh, you're pretty much unbeatable. But I'm kind of thinking about this matchup, because this matchup is uh, my most challenging one currently. The wild one. 
Ooh, we need to lock that. I hope it doesn't have some kind of dumb unlock or crap like that. So... No, 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 actually, never mind that. We're killing that. We are moving that and locking it. This card is so stupidly strong. Like, it can just generate like 40 points of value. So let's kill that. Maybe I shouldn't just kill so many like one pointers. I should prioritize killing the Slizard. Yeah, eat the other Slizard. I just blew up the other Slizard. <laughs> I don't know. The thing is, like, if he has, like, one big Slizer, uh, that's actually pretty good for him, because I don't have a counter to that. Move it to the other row. Oh, actually, automatically goes to the other row. That's perfect. I just play the Elven Scout. I have to say, these Elven Swordmasters are pretty good. Wait, what? How many you got? I wish you go up against Nilfgaard and they lock your stuff. Look at this. One Ruhin, two Ruhin, three Ruhin. Wait. A lot more. I can just move this guy into the other row. But not because, not before playing a crushing trap and actually using it right away. This is kind of plays against my crushing trap strategy. So, it's definitely a good counter deck to me. But is it a powerful deck on its own? How powerful it is?
So we are in trouble. I would love to have some locks, but this looks terrible. So even if I Bruver Hog slides out in the front, so it can't eat uh, Ruhin, it will eat another Ruhin. And I have to do this. After this, what do we do? So I can play this. Dry LA. I play this later. Please. Oh, my God. Yeah, we'll just put a roof in on the first row. This is a really good deck. I'm so annoyed. So I can play a uh, Mahakam Trap this way, and he can prevent me disrupting his card with the pit tra Pitfall Trap by simply playing the Summoning Circle. Now something is gonna be destroyed. So he just gets at his dude that dies. Still gets at the spider. Three spider bros. That's the bare minimum. Actually, no. He's gonna gain one more point. Because why wouldn't you? Can he? You best yield now. Oh, really? The Bruhins didn't die. If it's just gonna be lost on this swordmaster not attacking. Better than that. Going on the other row. Guys, it's a draw. Easy game. There was no way we could have won that. <sighs> GG if you will can. That rope cost the game? Indeed. Indeed. To be fair, I had a, a reason for roping. This was not an easy uh, game to figure out. Well played.